Happy New Year, everybody! Last New Year's, we started Season 1 of Minecraft Hardcore. Today, we see the start of Season 3. I know, that's not really a great rate of seasons of Minecraft Hardcore, but, you know, we'll gloss over that. Drop a like if you're excited for this brand new season here. And without further ado, let's get this thing rolling. Hardcore! Let's go Hardcore LP Season 3. We've got a nice random world seed. Create our world and see what we're gonna get we're going completely random once again because it is my firm belief that the most authentic way of playing minecraft hardcore is with a randomized seed so here we are generating the world what do we have oh my word uh, okay this ladies and gentlemen is a mesa biome otherwise known as the badlands well this is an interesting one isn't it <laughs> whoa Look at those mountains over there. Okay, you know what? I could get down with this. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I've had a Mesa spawn. In fact, you know what? I think season one of Minecraft Hardcore, we settled in a Mesa biome, didn't we? And here we are, season three, with another Mesa biome. <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic! So then, let's get the basics done, shall we? We've got a nice, beautiful, bushy tree over here, which brings me on to the first thing I wanted to talk about. I do have a resource pack going on here. It's the Python pack, my friends. It is back. And here's the thing. We're still only in default vanilla Minecraft. We do not have Optifine, which may beg the question, how do I have the swaying leaves? Well, it turns out that on the Vanilla Tweaks website, you can go ahead and get the wavy leaves and wavy foliage as per what you would normally get with shaders. But here we are on default Minecraft and we've still got the wavy leaves and foliage. I think it's fantastic. So if you guys are interested in grabbing the resource pack for yourselves, head on over to pythongb.com and you can download my version of the Vanilla Tweaks resource pack. Alternatively, if you want to go ahead and check out Vanilla Tweaks and make a resource pack for yourselves, go to vanillatweaks.net. I don't know about you guys, but I've always loved the Vanilla tweaks website to be able to basically create your own resource packs with a whole bunch of features either enabled or disabled whatever it may be you want to have it's probably on that website. It's great. Alrighty. Crafting table, pickaxe, and sword. Now we pop on over to this little cave here where we've got a bunch of stone. We're going to upgrade our tools. There we are. Stone Age Advancement. What I usually do is get enough to get myself a set of tools, a sword, and of course, a furnace. Stone pickaxe, stone shovel, stone sword, stone axe, and finally, of course, a beautiful furnace. And you know what? We've even got enough cobblestone to make ourselves a stone hoe. So, sure, let's go for the full set. The next goal, I think, should be that we grab ourselves a shield. But actually, I've just found some lapis here at the surface. Can't say I've had many Minecraft worlds where I've managed to get lapis before iron, so that's pretty Pretty awesome. <laughs> but talking of iron, there's actually a little bit just here. I'm hoping it's going to be more than one, of course. It is only one. Eh, okay. No worries. I suppose we could find some more iron somewhere, right? Maybe inside this lush caves biome. Yes, this is looking promising. We've got ourselves a bit of a ravine going on here. Any... Oh, hello. There's a skelly butt. I do not want that guy to be killing me. All right, go on, Bat. Go take him out. Starting to lose our hunger now, but the good news is we have ourselves some of these. Yeah. As part of the vanilla tweaks, you can go ahead and add in a little UI element that tells you how much hunger bar a piece of food will restore. So in this case, we're going to get ourselves one back. So actually, maybe I should save this. Whew. Thank goodness this guy doesn't have a trident. That would have been actual nightmare fuel. <laughs> <laughs> While we're iron hunting here, I just want to quickly remind you folks, if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my future Minecraft content. If you do want to go one further with your support, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs for 5% off. Alrighty, three bits of iron. We can go and chuck those in there with a couple of wood bits. Acquire hardware. Oh, 
yeah, there we are. That is the thing that we want to acquire as a result of acquiring hardware. <laughs> and I know this is going to be completely bonkers, but I'm going to make shears with the remainder of the iron there. Only I want to make myself a starter base in today's episode, which is completely unlike anything I've done before. Ah, looks like I won't be building it right now, though. Nighttime has come. Our first night on this world. We don't have a bed. Oh dear. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me, just having a nice chill stroll through the night, just chomping away at some food here. Good grief, just how big is this biome? Whoa, look at this cave entrance. Good day to you, sir. Come on then, try me, come on. Ha! Come on, boom, and boom, dead. <laughs> and now I'm going to find a minecart chest nice and easily, yes? Uh, do I kill this guy, that is? Oh, there actually is. <laughs> hey, 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 that's excellent. Are we ever going to find our way out of this biome? Find out in the next episode. No, I'm kidding. Got a nice little wooded Badlands forest biome here. I'm getting some major Hermitcraft Season 4 vibes from this. The reason I don't particularly want to set up around here is because of the colour of the foliage and grass. It's a bit murky and horrible, if I'm honest. Well, my last bit of food. Ah, jeez. Okay, right. I need to find a source of food. Stat. Still not found the edge of this biome yet. If you think you're blowing me up, you got another thing coming. You literally ended my last season. I ain't having it. Oh, a worthy adversary. Oh, good grief. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Ah. No, I'm not dying today. No way, Jose. Go on, get out of here. I was going to say, a worthy adversary. That guy had an iron sword. He literally had better gear than me. I guess we're going to have to resort to eating zombie flesh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Still haven't found the edge of this biome, by the way. It really will be the next episode at this rate before we find the edge of this place. The biggest upside of having this giant biome here, of course, is the fact that gold spawns way higher up in the world. And that means a plentiful supply of potential golden apples. So as annoying as it is, the fact that we can't find our way out of here, it's also kind of cool, you know? Oh, I saw a little something something there. Hello! Don't mind if I do. Looting one. Hey, that's pretty cool. I just realized we've got bread out of that. Ah, we are saved. Oh, hello. That is a different biome. It's a desert. Ooh, where to go, where to go? There's a ruin portal over there with a treasure chest. There's a minecart treasure chest over there. Ah, which to do first? Ah, minecart chest first. Ooh. I was talking about gold apples earlier. We just got one. <laughs> also, I spotted a little something something with my eagle eyes. What's this? Aqua affinity and some more food. No way. There's a third one here. Wow. Okay. Another gold apple. A whole bunch more bread. A whole bunch more torches. A whole bunch more melon seeds. All right. With my mystic crystal ball, I'm sensing... Ooh, do we want to stretch it? Do we want to say there's a notch apple in this chest over here? Hmm. I'm calling it. I'm calling a notch apple. Are we going to get a notch apple? Yes or no? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Boom! Ah. Oh. <laughs> that would have been quite something, hey, my friends. We've got Curse of Vanishing. Fortune 2. Uh, can this even pick up iron? I mean, if so, that might not be totally useless. Into the desert we go, my fri- Oh, it's not a full desert. It's just a tiny little micro desert. Well, that's not very useful now, is it? Oh, hello. There's something over here. Something nice and bright green. Oh, it looks so inviting, doesn't it? Is it a jungle? Is it a forest? It's a forest. Oh wait, there is a jungle. I must admit, I was kind of hoping to have started on my starter house by now, but Minecraft kind of had different ideas, didn't it? It wanted to chuck a near endless mesa at me, so that's what we've been contending with for now. But here we are. We're finally at the end of our goal, my friends. We finally found our way out of this biome and we're rewarded with yet another chest with a third gold apple. <laughs> wow. See this. This is where the Python pack resource pack really comes to life. 
Yeah! I'm loving this. And look at this! We got some wildlife! We got piggies! I never thought I'd be so happy to see piggies! I wonder if we might be able to find one of my favourite biomes in this game around here. The sparse jungle. It's basically the jungle with not as many trees. So actually, it's very, very nice for building in because it's a nice lush green palette you've got going on over there too. Oh, and there it is. There's the sparse jungle. Yo, it's right next to the mesa and desert. Oh, there's so much cool stuff. Look, we can have a parrot as well. Ah, oh, I don't know that I want to be spending too many seeds on this. Let's see if we can get this guy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, ah, no. Ah, you're really going to make me work for you, eh? Boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, no. I know exactly what this is. You have got to be kidding me. Do you know how rare these things are? All right, let's do a little bit of a screenshot. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a trail ruins structure. We roll in with a brush right there, and we can start getting ourselves a whole bunch of goodies from the sus gravel. What a find. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. I'd love to celebrate this with a parrot friend, but these guys are being unbelievable. I am no quitter, though, my friends. I am going to get one of those parrots to be my friend, even if it kills me. Although, obviously, I hope it doesn't kill me. Boom, boom. Yay! Got him! With that side objective done, it's time to get to the sparse jungle and start planning out our starter base. Just how bad of an idea is it for me to try and get a trident from this guy? Ah! Come on now. Boom! One more. Ah! Oh, can you imagine though? So here we are, my friends. You can't possibly deny it, right? This is a lovely biome. I love the color of the foliage. I love the fact there's not as many trees here. And it actually turns out this is a fairly large sparse jungle. Oh my word. I can see a big old settlement being created here. Now this, this area here is definitely screaming to be built upon. We've got a nice overhang here, which will offer some natural protection. Do you know what? This wall just keeps on giving. Look at this area. It's a stony shore biome, as far as I know. Yep, it is. But look at it. It literally surrounds this little mini ocean here. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> what a great world. All right. Now for the reason I got myself these shears. Let's get ourselves a little bit of wool, shall we? Oh, he's got an enchanted bow. Come on. Give me it. Uh, did he? Ah, oh, no. There we are. Beautiful wool. Millions of mobs following me around. Look at that. I've got a bit of a fan club here. Come on. I need one more bit of wool. Please drop me loads of wool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and there we have it. A bed. Let's have a bit of a snooze, shall we? Our first sleep of the season. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Look at this area, though. I just love it. What amazing surroundings we have here. So then, I think this location is indeed going to be where I set up my starter base. And here's my plan, my friends. I intend on making a wood and leaf dome base. That is right, a dome-shaped base with wood and leaves. I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic. All we need to do is prepare the land first, grab ourselves quite a lot of leaves and quite a lot of wood, and also quite a lot of glass. So we're going to need ourselves a bunch of sand as well, and then we should be able to get this thing going. The cool thing is we've got jungle leaves here, we've got oak leaves, we've got birch leaves. We could get all three of them and sort of smush them all into each other in terms of our base. So we'll have a nice amount of texture variation going on. The question though is this, what do we want to go for in terms of wood? We could go for jungle wood, oak wood, or birch wood. Hmm. I mean, oak would seem the obvious choice, but as a result, I feel like it's very sort of samey of me. I feel like we need to go for something different. Take risks. We're going to go with jungle wood. At the end of the day, jungle wood is actually pretty easy to get because you can get two by two jungle trees, right? So, as a result, we should be looking pretty good to go. And would you look at that? We've even got coal right here so we can use it to smelt the sand into glass. Excellent. That's the coal sorted out. Out. Got a whole bunch of leaves on the go here. 
Oh, nice! We just got ourselves a bow. <laughs> Ooh. Rain in the sparse jungle. Now this, my friends, is a vibe. Although, is that actually thunder? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what just happened there for the first time in the 13 years I have played this game, I just got struck by lightning. Bruh! <laughs> yo! Yo! Why don't you calm down there, Minecraft? Right, let's have a little bit of health back. If I could take down this little baby zombie, ideally. Uh, uh, come on, die then. Maybe. Uh, everybody's freaking out. Maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to snooze away this lightning storm. Oh my word, and then maybe I'll have a little bit of peace and quiet. Be gone. Be gone, foul thunder. I don't want to ever see your like around here again. That actually scared the life out of me. I have never been struck by lightning in Minecraft ever. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so glad it doesn't one-shot you. Can you imagine a Minecraft hardcore run ending because of being struck by thunder? Like the chances of that happening. You've got more chances of being killed by a tangerine. <gasps> okay, there we are, my friends. There we are. It's a nice sunny morning here in Minecraft here. I can get back to my base project. I must admit, I'd be surprised if I look at my hair after today's episode and notice that I don't have a grey hair that sprouted. All right, here we go, my friends. A nice flattened area ready to be built upon. What we need to do now is start whipping out some of this wood here and trying to figure out the footprint of our dome base. All right, well, that's the footprint of our little dome base sorted out. That's a pretty nice... Nice looking circle shape, I would say. And now, somehow, what I'd like to do is add a whole bunch of pillars, rather like this, but make them sort of meander up to the center point. All right, something like this. I think this is looking pretty good so far. And I'm sure you guys can figure out what we're going to do next. I shan't insult your intelligence. I think what I'll do, though, is I'll start off with only one type of leaf, right? And then we'll start spreading in all the rest rest of them sort of in between. Oh no, I'm on fire. Nope, 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 nope. That's not good. Thank goodness that didn't last very long. <laughs> Could have been in danger there, my friends, but we're okay. We live to die another day. Although hopefully not, of course. If I could find myself some more iron for a fresh new pair of shears, that would be mighty fine. Maybe down in this little micro cave? Ooh, it looks promising, if not a bit dark. So how's about we start utilizing some of our beautiful torches? Ah, yes, creeper go boom. But not blowing me up for once. Ha-ha! <laughs> Come on! Where's all the iron at, eh? To be fair, I think I know where it's at. It's gonna be all along that stony shore biome thingy, right? So maybe I should stop being a big old doofus brain and get myself out onto that stony shore. Where there's emeralds, there's usually iron. So let's get ourselves up this mountain. In fact, I think I can see some iron in the far distance up there. I just hope I don't wind up starving to death in the pursuit of iron. Also, before you guys head down to the comments area and tell me I forgot my gold pickaxe, it turns out gold pickaxes cannot pick up iron. So yeah, we're totally fine. Don't worry about it. We can use that gold pickaxe to probably pick up a whole bunch of coal instead. Oh my god! More iron! Do we go for the nice survival goal of trying to get ourselves a full set of iron armor? I mean, at the end of the day, we are in a place where there's lots of iron. I don't see a reason why not. So, yeah, let's get a whole bunch of this stuff, shall we? Ah, uh, it just goes on and on and on, this iron ore supply. Absolutely wonderful. All right, 24 is the magic number you need for a full set of armor. So there we have it. We are well beyond that now. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! Why would you teleport in front of me? No! Of all the ways, man! I can't believe it! My poor parrot! 2024 to 2024, episode 1 to episode 1. 
Oh, no. We'll have to get ourselves another grey parrot and then pretend that that one just didn't perish or anything like that. In fact, no, I don't know what I'm on about. I never had a parrot. What are you guys on about? And there we go. Back at base, 37 iron being smelted. We can make ourselves a full set of armor, probably some tools and the shears as well. While we wait, I think what we should do is try to factor in a little bit of an entrance here. I've got an idea. If I was to sort of build this up just a little bit, I was kind of thinking maybe I could do almost like a mine shafty kind of entrance. I feel like that could work quite nicely. So let's just pop over this way, do a little bit of that, drop down. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it works, right? And I guess what we could do, we could always go ahead and add in some little sort of windows, kind of? Maybe this needs to be a block taller, though. It does look a little bit cramped, it only being a two-block high entrance at all. All right, 24 ingots. There's the chest plate, there's the leggies, booties, and the hat. Finally, we have a full set of armor. No lightning's about to kill me now. All right, the final piece of the puzzle, my friends, is a whole bunch of sand so we can make some glass. I was kind of thinking I could make some little sort of curved dome skylight windows. Sounds like a strange idea, I know, I know, but let's just wait and let's see what the building looks like with them. Ooh, that's a bit alarming. So there's a lava pool down there. And there's a bunch of sand. Right. I mean, I'm sure you guys can put two and two together, right? Sorry, the, so <laughs> the sound of the shovel expiring actually just gave me a heart attack. Oh, go on. When's it going to happen? Well, the good news is I just heard a whole bunch of it get obsidianized. So actually, I think we're fine. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, very good. We've got 11 iron ingots remaining. Let's make ourselves a nice iron pick. I'm thinking a nice iron shovel, a nice iron axe, probably a sword. Wait, we could do the whole set, actually. Yeah, look at my fresh new set of tools. Ah, oh, aren't they a beauty? All right, go on then, sand. Get going. In the meantime, I'm going to put the rest of these leaves in. All right, and just like that, we've got all of the leaves added to the point where if we go on the inside here, yeah, protected from the elements. Well, for the most part, we're still going to get little driplets come through when it rains, but no matter. And I gotta say, the bushy leaf textures, I love them. A very naturey kind of base, isn't it? I love nature, both in-game and in real life. So yeah, this is right up my street. Gonna add in a central pillar so it looks like it's all properly supported. All right, very good. Glass has been obtained. Now I can attempt these little skylight kind of dealios. Only, yeah, it's nice to be able to sort of see through-ish the leaves, but how about being able to actually see through them? All right, there we are. Little mini skylighty kind of windows. Uh, right, just need to clear off the leaves off of this one, rather like so. There we have it. Right, now we go inside. Ah, oh, look at that. We can actually look upon our world now. Yeah. Now we can start moving our little bits and bobs in the base, and then we'll be good to go, and we'll wrap up the first episode. Don't you dare. <laughs> I think it's just regular rain, but if the sky gets darker, and it starts thundering, and this place gets absolutely wrecked from the thunder... Oh, there's going to be some words. All right, my friends, we're getting very close to having our little starter base done and dusted. It seems to have lost its dome shape a little bit, I think. But I think it still works as a starter base, a nice nature-themed starter base. I even started adding in some of the birch leaves just to add a little bit of texture variation. I think that's worked out a treat. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm just trying to add in a bunch of storage because all storage is good storage. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of single and double chests going on. And we can still walk up to the window and enjoy whatever view there may be. There's a cave there. There's uh, nothing there. Over there, there's 
Uh, nothing. And out here, yeah, this is the view. And you know what we're gonna do for a floor in here? We're simply going to have path blocks. That is right. And there we have it. I don't think we need to go much further than what we've done here. This is a nice little starter base. We've got a bunch of storage, got some basic utilities, the ability to sleep, of course, and a whole bunch of lighting. I think we are good to call this finished. So ladies and gentlemen, how's about we have our first ever sleep in our brand new base and we're going to wrap up our first episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Minecraft Hardcore Season 3. If you have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure to drop a like if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on my future content, but for now, thanks so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Let me know what you think of today's starter base in the comments area down below as well. Do you think there's anything I should be doing to this to improve it? Any and and every bit of feedback is welcome, my friends. I do my best to read all the comments. So if you do have anything to say, I will likely see it. Thank you so much for watching, though. Have a great rest of your day. Happy New Year once again. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!